Hi guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. We started this project a couple weeks ago uh, in order to waterproof it for the rains. The rains are here. They've just completed this belly band uh, yesterday. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how we waterproof these belly bands. And when I say belly band, here's the existing stucco band. So the fellow here matched this piece of wood here, and I'm going to show you how we watertight this guy here because it is raining and it's drizzling right now and it's probably going to come down on us, but we have time enough to do what we want to do. Walk around here, Jay, and I'll... I've got it started already, guys. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get between these bars. I don't want to pull them apart if I don't have to. Um, here's the belly band, and they use a pressure-treated uh, piece of wood anyway. What I'm doing is I'm covering this piece of wood. Uh, there's a quick and easy way which we do it. I'm actually, and I'm putting on a second piece here. Is it necessary? Well, it's just how we do things. You can do this belly band a lot of ways. For a homeowner, I would recommend you use a grace product. It's a peel and stick. You put it on the wood, above it, and it acts like a Z flash. You know, above it, where it would be on the wood, and it come down and pass the, the band and then tuck it in. And the reason I, I'm putting this second sheet is right here is because let me get this. because I know from experience that these are key to leaking. Now I'm going to get um, a corner aid which has a corner on one side and then it's called a short flange. And when I put all of this down, like so, let me get in here. <clears throat> okay, now we're, we're watertight. I've got four layers going up to about here. Um, when we're watertight, these tend to leak right here. That's why I usually recommend a, uh, a grace membrane. But I know what I'm doing here. I'm, when I use a short flange, it's going to be um, completely sealed like this right here with no sharp edges to poke this. So, uh, of course, I'll have to adjust that. Anyhow, that's what we're doing today. And what I also want to do today is because this paper has been here several, well, a couple weeks now, I want to wire it. I want to put wire on it because, now granted, we're in Alameda, we're in a low spot. Uh, in some areas, the wind is so strong, it'll vibrate the paper and it'll pull these little hammer tack staples loose, creating leaks. So what we're going to do today is just go ahead and finish wiring it. I'm going to show you one more thing while we're waiting. All right, guys, same job. There's also what we're still waiting on. It's going on two weeks now. These arch windows, and there's four of them. They're all um, on the other side. They have a bevel up here. It's kind of like a water table. That water table needs a flashing that where, um, I guess they... Um, take soldering iron and solder it so it'll come over this bevel. And that's what's making it tough to find uh, the fella to do this. We already had a guy and um, turns out he's uh, months out. So the homeowner's looking for a good flashing guy. If any of you guys are watching this, you're working in the Bay Area. This We're in Alameda today. Uh, give me a call this evening. He needs a guy and he needs one quick and he needs somebody competent enough to do these radius bevels. It is starting to rain. Uh, Look at that pole right there, you can see water coming down, but I don't usually like to come out and waterproof or weatherproof a job and then have to come back and wait on folks, but sometimes we don't have that luxury of everything being in place. So again, if you got any of you flashing guys that are looking for work that are uh, pretty sought after, good guys know how to do this difficult stuff, give me a call, I'll pass your name on to the homeowner. My name is Kirk, I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. It is, um, uh, what is it, 11, 11, 11 right now, so any flashers, call me. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.